Four warp cores? That's interesting. Redundancy. If one goes down in battle, we can still operate. Like a college. Makes this more difficult, though. This ship can maintain warp with half the cores offline. We'll need to disable three of them. Where are the engine schematics? Power flow routing charts. We're soldiers, not engineers. I thought you would know what to do. You're in good hands. We can do this. I trust that you can. You at least know where we should start? This way. Space. No ship can run for very long like that. Not before a catastrophic failure hits. It's right on the edge. We just need to figure out a way to give it a push. Bet that console down there could tell us a few things. we do, we need to make sure the Takan can't undo it. So we need a way to permanently disable the reactors that won't destroy the ship and kill us all in the process. You thinking what I'm thinking? Warp core injection. So the question is, how do we make it happen? Onko tässä sellainen toiminta? The reactor coolant system is operating at emergency containment levels. It's just barely keeping the temperature in check. Maybe we can use that. If it gets this high, their system considers a reactor breach imminent. Like we saw on the bridge, all four warp cores are operating at full capacity. The safety protocols don't look much different from the Resolute. Breach protection. Reduce output, command override. Cease matter, antimatter flow, command override. Emergency warp core ejection. Computer control. Okay, so now Even command functions can't override one of the most crucial safety measures. So the protocol's still active. That's good. Looks like if sensors show a core is about to rupture, the computer will eject it automatically rather than risk a breach. So we need to increase the warp core's temperatures. If we destroy the coolant regulators, there won't be anything to keep these reactors from going over. And it will trigger the ejection. Let's peel these suckers open. I'll take that one. I'll take the one next to it. The second you two start dumping cores, the Takan will know we're here. We'll be vulnerable. Stuck in one place while you work. Start thinking about an escape plan. I have a feeling we're gonna need one. We'll barricade the door. Work quickly. We might not have our tools, but our phasers can do this in a pinch. Onko turvallista antua reaktoriin feiserinä? Vai hei sillä vaan? We don't know how much damage that cartabula will do. Listen, the best way to make sure something goes wrong is to stress. Keep your mind on the job, and we'll be okay. Yeah, we will. It's not a Starfleet warp core, but the coolant regulator has to be in here somewhere. Mä en niinku 
aivokirurgia kynällä tekis tai jotain muuta vastaavaa. Mitä hölmöä? Skifi sulake. Okay, now I'm just a bastard. Now they're definitely gonna know we're down here. Warp core output at critical level, ejecting core. Just one more to go. They're here. They're cutting through the door. We don't have much time. You too. Calm yourself, child. It will all be better soon.
Ryoko were met. Return to us. Rejoin the flame. To reclaim what was lost. I want to remember every moment when I make them pay. But this isn't the end. I will avenge you, Tasker. Mm. Swear to me, you will join me in this. How about we try to save her? That's a dream. As long as she's alive and her memories are still in there, there's still hope. Hope is what you turn to when you have nothing left you can do. And there's still something I can do for Itasuka. And I shall. There's so much I want to ask you. There's so little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. I think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. The Resolute is primarily a research vessel, if that's what you mean. Not a warship. Although, she has been known to hold her own in a fight. Against what? Dominion. Something wrong? Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Takan Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge, and perhaps, ultimately, our downfall. The Federation prides itself on its inclusiveness. I'd say it's one of our greatest strengths. As the Vulcans say, infinite diversity in infinite combinations. Interesting. I'd be curious to meet one of these Vulcans. If this is the best you have, then so be it. <laughs> to locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No, I'm right here, completely <laughs> in my mind. Given this is merely a research ship, I won't be able to find him without it. Perhaps I should have made that clear up front. I'll need to make certain modifications. That shouldn't be a problem. Excellent. Solano's gonna flip when he hears this. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano, I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. Not within the Federation, at least. He's been kind enough to agree to help us find Galvin. I am at your service. To whatever extent I can be of help. If nothing else, I'm sure you're happy for a change of scenery. You spent 600,000 years at your post. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. But... I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for what exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. Ah, An Empire that no longer exists. Er which suggests you weren't very successful. Ah. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be insulted. Perhaps that was a mistake. I'd be happy to return to Delphi Ardu at any time. 
Of course, the fall of the Empire had nothing to do with you. We know that. Do you? Because it seems your captain has a different opinion. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. Clearly it's with the Dukan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and exposed my true loyalties <laughs> to the Dukan, not to the Science of the Flame, who do nothing more than tarnish us in name and reputation and don't deserve to be called Dukan. That's why I'm here. And if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems, we can get on with it. And you can stop wasting my time. Access to our systems? That's completely out of the question. Tell me that's not what you promised. We're vulnerable enough as it is. And now we're supposed to give him access to everything? Captain, I know it's a risk. But right now it's our best shot at finding Galvin and that ship. Here she was, naive enough to believe it wouldn't be a problem. Little did she realize the levels of ignorance and incompetence she was up against. <laughs> if you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, we'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the science pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. Commander Ryder, a word. And to think, I waited <laughs> 600,000 years for this. You realize this puts me in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start, but now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane! And you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? There's no way we can trust him. I might otherwise agree, but you're missing the most important point. He's a Takan, and he may be loyal to the Takan, but not to the Scions of the Flame. He's against everything they believe in. You heard what he said. There's too much at stake to be wrong on this. We sought him out for a reason. To help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Elidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation, but for me personally. I can't afford another screw up. Ah, okay, so the only tick is getting shield algorithms was bad enough. This this could be the end of my career. Captain, you have my word. I will do everything within my power to protect you. I appreciate that. It's not just my career on the line here. It's both of ours. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything. We're good. You may begin. I will, of course, have to make a few modifications. What kind of modifications? To find Taconian technology requires Taconian technology. Yeah, like if this Sion Galavan modified his ships, then I must do likewise to yours. Yep. <laughs> the galaxy is nearly infinite in size and complexity. This may take a moment. How long will it take? I found something. <laughs> kaksi, kaksi what is it? Galvin? Someone is using Taconian technology. I can't get the precise bearings, but it's located in the Palisades cluster. I'll huh. let the captain know. Rydic to Solano. I think Portal may have located Galvin. I'll be right there. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Almost impossible to lock on the energy signature. Where's he hiding? In the Palisades cluster. Interesting. Can you lock in on the location? Not until you get me closer. Lieutenant Handar, set a course for the Palisades cluster. Aye, Captain. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. You were right after all. That's what I get for questioning the advice of my first officer. 
You always have my back. They say the true measure of a leader is being able to admit your mistakes. So thank you. <laughs> Next time I'll do a better job of listening. Okay, thank you, Boyle. Nice Bye. work. Let me know if you find anything more. Will do. What's wrong? I didn't want to say anything until I was certain. But the reason for the interference is simple. There's a Taconian device on this ship being used to block the signal. Whoever planted it was exceptionally clever. They knew how and where to hide it. But they have underestimated my abilities. Engineering. Take care of the Taconian device, and I can find Galvan for you. It's designed to interfere with all transmissions, or at least delay and confuse the effort to find Galvan's ship. Hold on. My understanding is that Takan technology requires a Takan to operate. Is there another Takan on this ship? The science could have someone on this ship doing everything they can to stop us from finding Galvan. Don't worry, I'll get this first. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. Found it. Excuse me. Do you belong here? Commander Rydek. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was you. Paul. Calloway, right? Yes. I... You know, it means a lot that you remembered. What, uh, are you doing back here? I, I don't mean to pry, but first officers don't usually go digging around engineering compartments. I was looking for you. Uh, under the console? Dropped my tricorder. But I do need your help. Have you seen anyone else in here recently that might seem out of the ordinary? Maybe someone who doesn't work in engineering. Not that I can think of, but I can ask around. I'm here almost all the time, but maybe someone else noticed something? That would be great. Just be discreet about it. I don't want anyone to be alarmed. Discretion is my specialty. Well, I'll leave you alone already. Oh, come to think of it, that Hotari woman was down here earlier with Dr. Duvall finishing the last of the bioscans. Tylus? That would be out of the ordinary, right? Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Cover it. Assimilate. Toi sata se voi olla kalveikin. Se voi kuka tahansa. Maybe Tylus saw something. Tylus, can I speak to you for a moment? Of course. Is something wrong? There's something happening. I may need your help. This is important. How can I help? When you were in engineering with Dr. Duval, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Or anyone? Not particularly. Why? I found this, hidden in a compartment down there. That's Taconian technology. Does that mean there's a Scion on board? But Dr. Duval bioscanned everyone. Every deck, every crew member, I've seen the logs. She couldn't have been more thorough. We have to trace every contact, starting with engineering, which is where the device was planted. At least that narrows the list. We still have to go back quite a while. Whatever it takes. It could be anyone. That includes both of us. You want me to get scanned? Better to know for sure, right? I'll admit, I was around the Scions as much as anybody. We don't have time for this right now. Okay. Then what do we do? 
Whoever planted the device most likely did it within the last few hours. So I'll start by running a scan, tracking everyone who came through engineering over the last day, in reverse order. This could take forever to sort through the number of people that were in engineering. I'll filter out the duplicates. Mm, that helps. Cross-referencing this list with everyone who's traveled to Hotari. Now this is manageable. Filtering for outliers. People who don't work in engineering. Let's see who's left. No. This can't be right. What? Of the people that went to Hotari and visited Engineering, it could only have been... Captain Solano. Uh, uh, here while you went down to Delphi R4. Which would have been the perfect opportunity. And no one would question him. He's the captain. He fits the profile for the kind of people the Takan want to bioform. People with authority can lead to them more control. Like Galvin? The Queen? The captain of a Federation starship. Hey, what hey. happened when Dr. Duval bioscanned Captain Solano? That's just it. She never did. How is that possible? Something more urgent will always come up. There was nothing she could do. But performing a bioscan is the only way to be absolutely sure. That's not going to be easy. First thing I need to do is get this device to portal. Be careful. And good luck. I'll need it. I found the device. Yeah. That that lo yeri tempo ya. Deference is gone. I have located Galvin's ship more precisely. He's in the Usonia system. So then it worked. This whole region was one of the most sacred for the ancient Takan. What many consider the birthplace of our civilization. See these comets and planetoids in the outer orbits. Based on their current trajectory. And legend tells us it's the location of the was once our largest arsenal. Not that we needed it in the late stages of the Empire, but it was there as a precaution nonetheless. What kind of weapons are in this arsenal? <laughs> it's difficult to know what would have survived from the time of the Empire, but be assured that the damage they have done so far by altering your current technology will be minuscule compared to proper Taconian firepower. If Galvin and the other Scions secure the arsenal, they will become extremely dangerous. My people had such power at the height of the Empire. The Dakon were as gods, keeping absolute control over countless worlds. I must speak with them directly. However, the presence of this device is worrying. It's highly likely it was placed here by a scion hidden among your crew, and it is unlikely this interference device was the Scion Saboteur's only trap. If we reach Galvin and the Saboteur cripples your ship, we will be at their mercy. Even my powers will not be able to protect us. Do you know who it is? They may well do more damage if left alone. Time is not on your side. I'm fairly convinced they bioformed Captain Solano. I knew there was a reason I didn't like him. That explains it. Bioforming was so rare at the time of the Empire that I am not able to detect it. Okay, the type is too hard to master. Proof of your claim is something you would have to produce yourself. Then we have to bioscan him. I'll talk to Dr. Duval. That's quite the claim. You told me you were worried about him. But I never imagined this was what was wrong. I wouldn't be asking you if there was any other possibility. That would explain why Solano has been too busy for a bioscan lately. As the ship's doctor, you have the authority to declare him unfit to serve. If you're right, this is the worst case scenario. Challenging your own captain is a tall order. Are you 
you sure you're prepared for this? If you fail, that's it. The end of your career. Maybe your life. I don't know if I would be on my own. But with your support, I'm sure we can do it. That smooth talking may come in handy. Yeah. I'm in. But we can't pull this off with just the two of us. I technically have the authority to make Solano undergo a scan, but in reality, he can and will refuse to do it. We need at least another member of the senior staff to support your claim. Or this could all blow up in our faces. Uh, you better think long and hard about who you can trust. Mm -hmm.